A majority of Americans disapprove of the way President Donald Trump is handling immigration, according to a new Quinnipiac University national poll released Tuesday. And the most frequent words they use in describing the practice of separating children from their parents as families try to enter the U.S. illegally are sad and terrible. The words are G-rated, but a punch to the gut of President Donald Trump's immigration policy, said Tim Malloy, the poll's assistant director. It comes to the separation of immigrant kids from their parents, American voters are clearly appalled. The poll of 1,020 nationwide, conducted from June 27 to July 1, found American voters disapprove 58 to 39 percent of the way Trump is handling immigration. Separating children from their parents was a violation of human rights, they say 60 to 36 percent. The Trump administration has a responsibility to unite these children with their parents, voters say 83 to 12 percent. The most frequent words voters use to describe the separating of families are, said 79 times, terrible, 67 times, bad, 53 times, wrong, 47 times, disgusted, 45 times, and horrible 39 times. Undocumented immigrants are not more likely than American citizens to commit crimes, voters say 69 to 25 percent. Trump is racist, 49% of voters say, while 47% say he is not racist. Some 50% say the main motive for Trump's immigration policies is a sincere interest in controlling our borders, while 44% say the main motive is racist beliefs. Democrats in Congress are more interested in exploiting the nation's immigration issue for political gain, 60% of voters say, while 34% say they are more interested in resolving the nation's immigration issue, voters also call Trump's honesty and leadership skills into question. According to the Quinnipiac poll, voters disapprove 55 to 40 percent of the job Trump is doing, compared to a 52 to 43 percent disapproval rating in a June 20 poll, reversing a trend which showed the president's net approval inching up. 58 to 38 percent say Trump is not honest. 55 to 43 percent say he does not have good leadership skills. 55 to 43 percent say he does not care about average Americans. 62 to 34 percent say he is not level-headed. 63 to 32 percent say he is a strong person. 57 to 39 say he is intelligent. 60 to 37 percent say he does not share their values. 62 to 36 percent say he does not provide the U.S. More leadership. But voters do approve 53 to 39 percent of Trump's meeting with Russian President Vladimir Putin and approve 51 to 40 percent of the way the president is handling the nation's policy toward North Korea. In addition, voters tell Quinnipiac that the lack of civility in politics is a serious problem, 91 to 7 percent. But while 47% of voters blame Trump more for this lack of civility, 37% blame the Democrats more. Voters also say 55 to 39 percent that Trump has emboldened people who hold racist beliefs to express those beliefs publicly. The latest survey warrants more low-key sparklers than soaring Roman candles as President Trump's approval stalls and voters say civility has gone out the window, Malloy said. The Quinnipiac poll, which conducts nationwide public opinion surveys and statewide polls, has a margin of error of 3.7 percentage points. politics a majority of Americans disapprove of the way President Donald Trump is handling immigration, according to a new Quinnipiac University national poll released Tuesday. Poll, Trump, Immigration, Policy, Family Separations 571 Tuesday 3 July 2018 1.18 p.m. 2018 Tuesday 3 July 2018 1.18 p.m. Newsmax Inc. Newsmax Inc. Newsmax Inc.